Welcome goddesses. This is Alashina, and today I want to share with you three super tools that you can use right now to awaken your feminine. These are things that are fun to do, simple, and don't require any investment from moi. So let's get started. The first super tool that you can use to awaken your feminine is what I call shifting into her. So most of us are actually, if you really really feel into where your focus and the center of your gravity is. Most of us, our center of gravity is actually here. Our center of gravity is, is up in these <laughs> incessant thought processes that are typically concerned around what other people think. And you really sit and feel into the vibration of what kind of where you are on a day-to-day -day basis. You'll actually notice that you're in this frequency of caring what other people think or there's this vibration of feeling like something's wrong with you. And it's generated from up here. It's just, it's the old paradigm. So when I talk about paradigms a lot in my videos. And, it, and what I'm teaching you is how to shift your paradigm into the paradigm of your liberated goddess, right? So well, the first tool is to shift into her. And she resides right here. She resides right here in the sacral chakra. She's actually everywhere. And she's actually specifically in the first three chakras, the first three energy centers are really the lower part of the body, but she's really right here, her storehouse. So for women, this is your womb, right? And for men, this is really like our center of sexuality, center of creativity. So just, I want you to just for a moment, just to do these hip circles. And hip circling is this ancient, ancient, old practice. And what you're doing here is you're just breaking up some rigidity around the center and you're shifting your focus your center of gravity out of that place of like all these thought patterns down into her, right? So she resides in here. And the other thing you can do is you can do what I call the her walk. So the her walk is very simple. It's actually just walking. So stand for a moment with your knees slightly bent and you just begin to walk with your hips really kind of over exaggerated from side to side. So it kind of looks like this. You just kind of, you just kind of walk like this and with your hips side to side, right? And you just kind of do that around like, you know, walking like this. You can do that in the morning or whenever you feel like you're not grounded or wherever you feel like you're not in her. And after a while you connect to that, you don't even have to actually do the her walk. You can just bring that in kind of like, um, just like an anchor, an energetic anchor. So that's the first tool is to shift into her. And when you shift into her, you're gonna notice your confidence completely shifts, right? Cause you're gonna go from this kind of energy outward here. Like there's this, when you're not grounded in her, there's this energy outward here that's, that's not grounded and you're concerned. You're kind of, you're actually in a place where you're giving your power away. So the first thing energetically to take your power back, bend your knees a little, get your hips moving and just shift into her. And you'll notice there's this sense of relaxation, like, oh, well, everything's actually okay in this moment. I can be kind of who I am, you know? There's actually, it's actually kind of this resting bitch pose where you're just kind of resting back into your inner bitch, where you're like, I am okay. I am awesome. I am badass, beautiful, and divine. And I don't need to take any crap from anyone. I don't care what anyone thinks of me. I don't need your approval. I don't need anyone's like, um, I don't need your feedback of how beautiful or how compassionate I've been. I'm actually just amazing who I am. And if you don't like that, then I don't apologize. You know, this is who I am. So shifting into her is really being in here. And when you start to do this on a daily basis, like a couple times a day, if you work in an office, you get up to go to the bathroom, you can just kind of like overextend your hips when you walk, just get into her, right? Snap your fingers a little you know, let your body roll back. It's really about the embodiment. So this awakening of the goddess is an embodiment of her energy, right? And she's gonna rise from here, right? It's not that nothing we need to think about. We actually just let that, let those, all those thought patterns just rest and just be in her being, right? So this first tool really is, um, the foundation is movement. So shifting into her and being in movement. So this first super tool is movement and is shifting into her. I love dance and like I, I was never like a big dancer. Um, I was never a, a trained dancer, I should say. I always loved to dance, but I was kind of always like the, the wedding dancer, you know? Um, but through this process, I awoke to my soul essence. I awoke to my spirit 
through movement. Um, through going to things like Burning Man and other kind of like um, uh, conscious dance events and like ecstatic dance and five rhythms. So I invite you to really play with a movement to find her through movement. And it allows the mind to settle, allows those kind of old defense systems to kind of relax and then you shift into her. So finding her through movement is the first super tool. Put on your favorite playlist and do what's called um, feel without story. Put on 20 minutes of songs, get everything from like Put on some muse so you can rock out and put on some like Rihanna where you can kind of get into your fierceness and put on some, I don't know, so some Adele where you can kind of get into your like sassiness or kind of into your like deep heart, you know, and just feel all those feelings without a story. And it's a really way to awaken her is to be in the feeling, is to be in the movement. So the second super tool that you can use is meditation. So, um, I'm not kind of I'm not a um, traditional meditator, um, and there's a lot of different ways that you can meditate. The whole point of this particular um, suggestion is just for you to begin to notice your thoughts. Right. So meditation can happen in yoga uh, through your yoga practice, but I like to have I do like to have um, about 15 to 20 minutes of formal meditation every morning. And in that meditation, I'm not just kind of sitting there and being quiet. I'm, I'm doing some other prayers and affirmations. And when I'm doing that, I'm, I'm invoking the, the new paradigm. I'm programming my subconscious mind. And when I'm connecting to who I really feel I am on the inside and how I want to be th throughout the rest of my day, what's happening is that through when I go throughout my day, I'm, I'm feeling the vibration. I'm noticing the thoughts that are not actually in resonance, that are not actually in harmony with who I want to be. So I start to notice there's this other, there's these other voices, these other programs going that I'm like, I don't want to think these things. It's kind of like weeding your garden. You start to know that like, there's a weed. I don't want that. There's a weed. I don't want that. And we start to notice these thoughts are just running without our permission and they, they create feelings and they create like, these like horrible things inside of us that we don't want to feel, you know, about ourselves are things that are very self-deprecating. They're things that are not self-affirming, that are not self-empowering. And there's no one else that's going to take responsibility for for it, except if we go in and overwrite them. Um, and that leads us me into the third super tool, which um, supports number two. The third super tool is visioneering. Visioneering is an advanced uh, form of affirmations and programming your subconscious mind. So visioneering is a term that I got from Sandy Gallagher from Proctor Gallagher Institute. One of my, my most favorite uh, teachers is Bob Proctor. He's like the grandfather of personal growth. And he's really taught me a lot about paradigms and how to reprogram your paradigm and the power of your subconscious mind. So visioneering is this process of connecting first to understanding that you are intimately connected to a power in the universe and that we have the ability to impress and um, manipulate this power, if you will, or call it upon our will through our thoughts and that everything begins with thoughts. So we draw in a vision of what we want in our lives and then we begin to sit in the feeling tone of that. We begin to sit in the vibration of that, in the frequency of what it feels like to have, be and do these things. And then we start to draw that frequency so we begin to recognize this is the frequency that I want to live in my life. So we're visioneering how we want to live how we want to be in relationship and how we feel in our power. And then we begin to live in that free feeling tone, that frequency throughout our lives, um, throughout our day. And it's a process of visioneering. So you're constantly seeing and you're constantly affirming. So it's not just the visualization, it's the really tapping into the frequency and having very, very fine tuned affirmations. So I'm like a huge, uh, component or huge proponent of affirmations, but, um, I found that they, you have to be um, very kind of particular and efficient with how you use them. I like to stick with s certain ones for a short period of time and use them like a hundred times in a day. Instead of having like a list of like 20 that you kind of do once a day, it's like pick three or four and just program the hell out of yourself with those for like two or three weeks and do that like a hundred times a day. Um, so that's visioneering. That's the third tool that you can do at home. And that's really all rooted into reprogramming your subconscious mind. And you can weave all these together. You can actually do your visioneering. You can do your affirmations while you're moving. So um, you can have a mantra that really just calls you home to all of it. Uh, it's what Derek Rydell calls it, an emergence mantra. So my emergence mantra is, I am Alashina. 
And when I say that and I embody that, it invokes everything in my life. It invokes my power as a healer, it invokes my, my power as a coach, it invokes my power as a musician, it invokes like everything from the depths of my soul. It invokes all the transformation, all the hell I've been through and all the courage that I've harvested. Um, and it really calls me home. So being in the body and being in the feeling tone and just celebrating who you are and creating space for you to do these things. You know, these things only take a few minutes a day, um, but they kind of become addicting and you start to feel, it's like you know, there's a current in life, right? The current basically in life is a stream. It's, it's going, the river's going this way, right? And all the salmon are swimming down the stream, but in order for us to awaken, we have to be the trout, right? We have to be the trout because the trout's the one that's like jumping out of the water and swimming upstream. So <laughs> Alashina's message is don't be a salmon, be a trout. Swim upstream. It takes courage to swim upstream, but that's why we're here, and that's you know how we. So what differentiates us from everyone else? You know, you know. I wish everyone um, to find their own way and to really tap into their truth. Um, but the the sad truth is that um, a lot of people don't have the resources to do this, and that's why I make these videos is for you to have some resources at home that you can empower yourself with. So much love to you. Much love. May you, the goddess, awaken in you and bless all areas of your life and illuminate every cell of your being with pleasure, joy, and abundance. If I can be of service to you, you can check out my programs. You can sign up for a free goddess awakening session. So if you're interested in what it's like to work with me, I do offer a, a free session so you can experience and connect to your inner goddess. You will get a vision for what it will be like to live as your fully liberated goddess and really see what blockages are in the way that need cleared that we can work on together and then have a roadmap for what, it's, what it will take for you to move from where you are now to emerge as your fully liberated and awakened goddess. I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Precious will you let me near? Let me heal your breaking heart.